Good day, judges, and welcome to another segment of One Our Liwag Memorial High School Senior High School Math TV. For today, we will be having uh, a discussion on how to find the standard equation of the circle given different conditions. Okay, let's have the 11th example. For the 11th example, we are given find the standard equation of the circle with center at 1, 4. Let's write the given. Center is located at 1 and 4 and it passes through the point P. Let's say P is negative 2 and 5. So, all we have to do is to write the center radius form of the circle and the center radius is x minus h quantity squared plus y minus k quantity squared is equal to r squared. If we are given the center, center, always remember that those coordinates are h and k. Again, that is h and k. Okay, so rewriting this in the formula, we will be having x minus 1 quantity squared plus y minus 4 quantity squared is equal to r squared. We could find out that we could not yet determine the value of the radius. But we are given the second condition. And the second condition is that it passes through another point. And that point is negative 2 and positive 5. And how do we solve now the radius using this point? Remember, if you are given a point on the circle, therefore, that is the value of x and y given the center radius form. x is equal to negative 2 and y is equal to positive 5. Let us now try to substitute this point P in the center radius form. Therefore, x minus 1 quantity squared, that becomes negative 2 minus 1 quantity squared plus what is our y? Our y is 5 minus 4 quantity squared is equal to r squared. Based on this equation, let us now try to solve for the radius. Negative 2 minus 1, that becomes negative 3 squared plus 5 minus 4 is 1 squared is equal to r squared. What is negative 3 squared? That is 9. Plus, what is 1 squared? That is 1. Therefore, 9 plus 1, which is 10, that is our r squared. So, we, we are asked to find the standard equation. So, based on this one, this is now the standard equation of the circle, center radius form, but there is no r squared yet. But we're able to determine r squared. So, let us use this equation. Therefore, we'll be having x minus 1 quantity squared plus y minus 4 quantity squared is equal to what is our r squared? 10. Therefore, this is now the answer to problem number 11.